Hello YouTube, it's been a long time, no talk to. I want to say a special hello to all of my new subbies. Hello! Thank you for joining my channel. So this is another dark matter. I wanted to come to y'all today with a, what is this, 10 month update. 10 month update. If you can hear the whine in the background, I just got a puppy. Well, I didn't just get him. I got him a while ago, but this is Rocky. Let me see. There he is. Say hey, Rocky. That's Rocky. He doesn't like the cage, but um, we had to put him in the cage because he's a little, he's a little active. But I love him. I love my puppy. We're going through puppy training at PetSmart, but that's neither here nor there. So let's get to my 10 month update. In two months, it will be one year. I'm so excited. Okay, but I wrote down everything that I wanted to talk about so I don't forget. So just give me a second as I look at these things up. Okay, so I always usually start off with what I'm loving. So what I'm loving, I'm loving the length. And then you can't tell, your girl's got a little more length going on. So it is growing. I'm so super excited about uh, the length um, in the back. I don't know if I've ever shown y'all the back of my hair before, but we will see if it works. And it comes down to like about here. And when it's wet, of course it dangles and all that fun stuff. Um, Of course I am loving, oh, they're beginning to mature more so they're starting to look more like locks and um, for those of you who don't know I do do the interlocking method and I just had them retightened recently so these bad boys are really beginning to look like locks so excited um so I'm getting locks, they're locking, they're maturing, and oh gosh, I have like hand and hair syndrome so bad. You think that it would kind of subside over a certain period of time, but it hasn't. It really hasn't. It's getting worse. I, I almost promise it's getting worse. Like I'm thinking of all the different styles that I can do. Like I can look at some of my locks now and I'm like, oh, look at the end of that one. I can see them. I can see them in my peripheral vision, like about my face. Oh, I'm just... I'm, I don't know. I'm acting like I just got these, but I've had them for a while. I've even found myself watching more videos on YouTube about, you know, locks and all this stuff. So I'm really, really excited. Please excuse me for a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Those were my motherly duties. If you don't know, I have three children. I have two boys and a girl. They are three, four, and eight. My boy is eight-year-old okay so now that I've shared with you my likes now to talk about the things that I gotta get used to or that I'm not liking so much so here goes number one I'm getting a lot of budding going on right about now just because I said it I can't find any but it seemed you know me with my hand and hand and hair syndrome I get a lot of little buds if you can see that the little bud on the end and I have so many of them and I've been just like yanking some of them off. I'm quite sure that's not, I'm quite sure that's not good. But it's even more, I know I mentioned it in my last video, but it's so many more now. They're just like every freaking wear. And I know that's a good thing. That means that they're maturing. But I don't, I don't know if I like the buds. They, I don't know, somehow they aggravate me as I'm running my fingers through my hair all day like I do. I just get down to one of those and I'm just like, er, why are you there? But I know it'll kind of like recede up into the lock as it matures. So I shouldn't worry about it too much. Um, I also feel like I'm kind of like at the awkward stage. Hush, Rocky. Quiet. I also feel like I'm at kind of the awkward stage. Quiet. I also feel like I'm kind of at the awkward stage where, ah. Uh, I went through, I don't know, me stressing with work and I work two jobs also. Me stressing with everything going on. Hold on. Okay. Me stressing with everything going on. I, for some reason, stopped wrapping my hair at night. And don't ask me why, why I would do something like that. Because I know, I know the consequences. And I don't have silk pillowcases. I have cotton pillowcases. So... 
needless to say, my hair got ultra frizzy. I don't know if it contributed to the, it probably contributed to the awkward stage. But I started back for the past two weeks. I've been putting this bonnet on like it's nobody business. Every time I come home just about it, I bonnet my hair. And this is the type of bonnet that I wear. And I tuck all my hair underneath. And this is how I go to bed. I have the one where you can tie it in the back so I can make this as loose or as tight as I want it. So then as my locks grow, they can kind of hang in here and they won't be as scrunched up as they've been if I use a bonnet or something like that. Like a regular bonnet. A regular bonnet kind of squishes it up. But that's how I do my hair before bed. And then again in the morning I spritz it with uh, water, um, maybe a moisturizer, or I do one of my favorite oils, the jojoba oil, or the argon oil, or there was one more. Uh, can't remember. Okay. So that's something that I'm not liking this awkward stage, this frizzy stage, whatever it is. I can't wait till it passes. Um, I'm also kind of having issues with, okay, so originally I wanted sister locks. Some of you may think that my locks are kind of small already, but I originally wanted sister locks. <sighs> I find myself sometimes thinking like, should I cut these off and start all over again? Because even though they may seem small or somewhat small, y'all, like I originally wanted something smaller. And they usually say locks are pretty permanent. So you should get what you're really truly wanting in the first place. But I remember when I first got these, I was very happy with them. Especially after I tried to interlock them myself the first time, which was disastrous. I was like, maybe this is good that I chose the, the size that they are. But as I see more women with locks and specifically sister lock size locks, I'm thinking maybe I should have just done what I wanted to do. But I still love them. <laughs> I still love my hair because it's my hair. I don't know. So maybe I'll grow out of that stage. It's just 10 months and I'm starting to feel that way. It'll probably pass next month. So um, that's that. That is my 10 month update. I'm very excited. I can't wait. I've got two more months before my one year lockversary. Ugh, I can dance and do all those things that you do when you're happy. Um, but until next time. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for all of my new subbies. And please let me know if um, you can comment below. And also, do you think this is the awkward stage that I'm going through? Or was it me not wrapping my hair up? <laughs> and if, if it came from me not wrapping my hair up, like, will it pass? I don't know. I don't know. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye, y'all.